Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package I've been waiting to unbox for a minute. Uh, but real quick, I got a couple other things. I got something from Roots Garage Tech. I think this is for my buddy Josh. Another package for me to proxy for him. What'd you get, buddy? Oh. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I think it's a hinderer clip. Man, that is nice. Hold on. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, no. It's a spider co clip. Oh, that is nice, dude. Look at that little locator hole right there, I guess, for machining. Or no, to hold it in place, I guess. That's what these little holes are, just so you're wondering. For his jig or whatever, so he can mill it. Um, I'm an expert. Um, is this aluminum? Titanium? I don't know. Oh, hey. Uh, Diamond Light Coating Spider Co. 2 V2 Clip Pyrogrip Diamond Light Coating. Okay, it's DLC. So that's going to go on... gonna go on here i believe oh so he also got a backspacer i forgot i got that and he's got a whole kit going and then this oh yeah that's gonna look sick dude you're gonna have a sick setup right there um so i really like rips garage tech my only issues with them are sometimes the clip uh just has no ramp right here um but what are you gonna do i'm learning with uh our own knives <laughs> With the growler, some people are having issues getting this in their pocket. So um, what I've learned is you just kind of, you want to kind of pop your pocket up and then sh just go in straight like this. Don't try to like put it in on an angle or like with your pants half. Um, let's see if I can show you what I mean. You just go up to your pants, kind of guide it in like this. You, know, you just go like this so it's flat when you catch it and then it'll catch like that. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, the same concept goes with the Rips Garage Tech clips, I noticed. At least the wire clip ones. Maybe these are different. They look a little more milled. Um, was this in here with the screws? Oh, look at that. Wow. That's impressive. Look, he's got a little crimper. So it crimps the bag, and then it keeps the screws separated. That's very nice packaging, sir. I like your style. I like your style, sir. All right, uh, let's put this here. Put the clip there and the backspacer on top. I'm trying to, come on. I'm trying to squeeze it all in so I don't have to keep them, se keep them separated. Really? There we go. That's uh, fucking DLT stuff. There. <laughs> I gotta ship it anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, so we got that one out of the way. The next one, oh, this is from Amazon. Um, somebody suggested this because I was, I got a little, uh, I got a little pen, uh, and I want to try to fit ball points into it. And this is a cutter, so it's close quarters tubing cutter, and I'm thinking maybe I can cut the Fisher. Sorry, Parker refills. Cut those to fit this pen that I'm working on, that I have on the way. It's a tech liner pen. I don't know how this works. Uh, I don't know anything about cutters. So, learning experience coming right up. Uh, looks like it works on copper, aluminum, and plastic. So, I think it would work because I think it would be aluminum. I'm guessing you just kind of unscrew it and then tighten it down but hey i could be wrong we'll figure it out anyway that might be a cool video and the last thing is from lynch northwest so interestingly we had the rips garage tech thing come in and uh yeah i gotta say this growler has been a fantastic unboxing knife um yeah it doesn't have the low tip that i usually am into but it's super thin and slicey and that full flat grind just really helps um, so I've been enjoying the shit out of that. All right, so this is actually a spider co. This will be my first spider co in a while. Um, I bought a mod two. Oh, OK. 
Okay. Oh, is this the original box? Uh, we're going to find out here. So this... Oh, look at that. Interesting. So this is the original... Um, these are the original scales. That's funny. It's a pink one. That is too funny. Here's some packaging, some stuff, some other stuff. Is this like a sprint run? I don't remember a pink one. I did get, I think it's an S30V. Um, yeah, that's their breast cancer one, isn't it? An S30V. How funny is that? Okay, what's in here? Just, I guess the stock hardware and stuff. Cool, cool. So you get the original knife with it. That's pretty cool. I think I paid two seventy dollars for this. It's a Delica Mod 2. Um, and I was actually pretty impressed with that price because I figured for um, a custom, it's basically full. I mean, it's. I think the spring might be the normal spring, but they, you know, they work on it for sure. So I can get rid of this. It's got my name on it. Cool, cool. Do I have to cut this too? Yep. Okay, cut that. Now we can put it away. Thanks, Kevin, for your patient support. This time, instead of PA, I like it. I did hit them up. I was like, hey, I ordered this like Black Friday. And they were like, yeah, sorry. We, we really wanted to get them right. And you know what? I appreciate that. So anyway, this is the uh, blacksmith blade and clip and everything. Titanium and S30V version. And this is actually a backlock, guys. Uh, I had one of these in because of uh, Knives Live. This is like the third or fourth thing that I've gotten because of uh, Knives Live. And uh, and then I bought one because of it. So too bad Knives Live exists because that sucks. Uh, I'm just kidding. Definitely check out Knives Live every year, guys. Excited about that. I'm hoping the spring on this is like the other one that I had in, which was stiff as a mother. Okay, that was really stiff. Yes. It was like a slip joint where it just kind of popped closed. This seems a little less so. And yeah, it wasn't a shaker, that's for sure. There we go. Centering looks dead down the line. Cool. Let me pull this out of here. I told them if they could make a lefty, I'd be all in on it. But I was kind of secretly hoping they just made me one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, here it is. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it was that I just loved about it, but ergos and then it kind of felt like playing with a slip joint kind of felt like i had walk and talk you know and it does feel like that this one's not as snappy could be the spring though because it's coated i mean it feels strong i mean look at that i'd say it's perfect because oh almost oh yeah baby one thing I didn't notice was it seems like the blade's kind of short for the handle, but look at that. Beautiful tumble tie. And the reason I got this one was the blade steel, I think. Um, I didn't want BG-10. And K390, if they had had a coated K390, I would have went for it, but they didn't have that. So um, I just thought this one looked cool, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So... Obviously, it has the Spyderco hole, so, uh, and it's a back lock, so it doesn't have a detent. You know, you can't do any cool stuff, but you can, if you work at it, I'm sure I'll be able to flick it over time. Um, I just did it earlier. There we go. Fire it out. I love this blade shape. I don't know how I never noticed this blade shape, how it has this little hump down here, and it kind of turns into a sheep's foot. Um... I don't know, it just seems really useful. And now it has a choil. I'm pretty sure the Delica does not have a choil. So, uh, but I do have pink scales in hardware now uh, and the hardware from that one. So 
Um, don't think I need that if anybody's, you know, looking or anything. Ah, it doesn't shake down, but I don't need it to either. Let's see if it's... Yeah, it's locked up. This is nice, man. Yeah, I'm glad they took the extra time to get these right because this looks fantastic. And it's so thin, guys. That has to be razor thin behind the edge. You want to check? I have a minute. I was measuring the... Uh, come on. What are you doing? Stop trying to clear you, you little bitch. All right. Seventeen, twenty-three. That was too high. Twenty-seven. I don't know. Um, somewhere around twenty, I guess. When I was measuring this knife, which look at that similar build. And that's what I love about this XL tray. See, I can fit that whole knife in here open. This one I was getting, yeah, 14, oops, 12, eh, that, was a little, that was a little high, hold on, try to get the angle right, it's hard to get that front angle, 12, yeah, so yeah, I'm getting, you know, under 15 thousandths on the growler and that's just because of how tall that blade is but it's a downside for some people too right they don't like having a tall blade um and we're learning that some people don't like a big hole either <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> all right i love this i don't know what it is i'm not a backlock guy uh colin's gonna be proud of me for this because the only reason i have two backlocks is because of colin i have the Native 5. Um, so this is not my only Spyderco. Sorry. This is a Spyderco that... I, and I love this thing. Uh, it's the Native 5 with fluted CF. Oh, it's so good. And then I have the... Uh, CM Knife Designs Tonic. By Best Tech. Which is amazing. I love this knife. And it just keeps breaking in. You see that? Now it drops. Oh yeah. Fire. Am I a backlock guy? Am I a backlock guy? What's going on? I do wish it would drop, and I hope that changes. Because you want to be able to close it. Is there a way to one-hand it? Oh, you do this? Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Kev's got it down, baby. Yeah, I just love the look of this knife. I always wanted a Delica, too. Um, I never carried the one that came in, so... I'll have to see how the clip works, obviously. But um, I'm excited, guys. So let me know what you think. Uh, centering, yeah, it's dead down the middle, too. This is not a knife I would take apart. Um, I don't think I'd mess with this at all. I'm hoping they Loctited it because <laughs> I'm sure they did a lot of tweaking to get it right, just considering the scales. And, you know, they literally remade the knife. I mean, I'm sure they took the back uh, the spring out. They uh, use the same spring. Well, that's about it. Titanium backspacer. Titanium scales. All probably titanium hardware. Titanium clip. Um, they blacksmith coated the blade and resharpened that bad boy. Seki City Japan. Maybe they didn't because it's uh, got all the Spyderco stuff on it. But... I didn't think that pink one came with a uh, black blade. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. That's my uh, Spyderco Delica Mod 2 from Lynch Northwest. I'm really excited about it. So I love you guys. I appreciate you all. And uh, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.